Hello and welcome back to the Three Pillars Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Tobin, a.k.a. Tobinator the Motivator, and this is episode 49, The Journey. Guys, welcome to the Three Pillars Podcast, the podcast where we focus on spiritual, mental, and physical fitness to achieve an overall closeness, a, a growth, a just a kind of walk together we're on with the Lord and with each other. Uh, kind of hence the name of the episode, The, the Journey. We're going to get into that uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, if you're new to the podcast, I appreciate you guys tuning in for the first time. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or Rumble, please uh, give us a like, a subscribe, uh, drop a comment, let me know what's going on in your life. Uh, if you're listening to on the uh, podcast platforms, uh, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Anchor, etc., uh, you know, follow us everywhere you're at and uh, share it to the winds. I really would appreciate that. Um, it's been awesome so far, guys. We are almost to 52 episodes. That was the initial goal. Uh, to drop 52 little nuggets, you know, one a week that you guys can go back and listen to at your leisure uh, and share it with whoever you feel is, uh, is good. But we're going to keep going. Uh, this is going to be my kind of season one, as it were, uh, this first year. So uh, it's been an incredible journey. So all that being said, we're going to just dive right in like we always do. Start off with a quick word of prayer, and then we're going to tackle this this, uh, this topic. All right. Heaven Father, thank you for today. Thank you for bring us together once again. Thank you for being our guide on this journey of life, Lord. Lord, I ask that you bless anybody tuning into this podcast tonight. Lord, I ask that you guide and direct them just as you guide and direct me. Lord, I ask that you give me the words to say that anyone tuning in have the eyes to see and ears to hear and the heart to embrace uh, anything that we get into that grows us all closer to you, Lord. In your holy name, amen. All right, so the journey. Uh, this journey is not. I'm not, not talking about the podcast journey. I'm gonna throw that out first and foremost. We're going to be discussing this this uh, this journey towards goals. All right. There's an old saying. You know, the view from the top of the mountain. While it is beautiful, what's the point of of it if you're up there all by yourself? If you're up there alone. So that's what I'm getting at when I'm talking about the journey. I want you at the top of the mountain. All right, I want to be at the top of the mountain. I'm nowhere close, but the point is we get there together. If you're, like I was in the Marine Corps, I found out very quickly that you cannot get through the Marine Corps alone. There's no way to do it. There's always something, and there's obviously things you can do, but if you want to be successful, you have to have uh, unit cohesion. Whether it's your fire team, your squad, your platoon, your company, etc. All right, you've got to have unit cohesion, or you won't be successful. You won't be as successful as you want to be. Let's put it that way. There are some people who can slime by. That's in any any profession, right? There's people who can kind of slime by and do stuff and step on people, but really, at the end of the day, when they go back and look they are not as successful as they could be if they had brought more people with them. And that's what we're what we get into. We're talking about leadership. If you're going to go on a journey, if you're going to learn new skills and climb this mountain, it behooves you to impart that knowledge onto people who are, you know, if they're your subordinates or if they're your, your peers or whoever don't have that skill, that way everybody can get at least something we can all move up together. Because the more of us that are climbing this thing, the more help we have along the way. If we're talking about a, a physical fitness goal, you know, I want to be able to, you know, run this fast, lift this much, you know, what whatever your goal is. I want to be an Olympic athlete, let's say. That's going to be very difficult for you to do by yourself. You need to have a team of coaches. You need to be able to eat right, do all these things. And when you finally get on that, you know, gold medal podium, you can look back at all the people who are there to help you. And they're, they're, it's like they're on the podium with you because they, they helps you get to that level. You put in the work, they put in the work, you do it together, you get this grand product, right? Same thing if you're, you know, you hit a, a big PR on a lift or if you're, uh, you know, you hit, you hit a, you smash a run time or anything like that. You hit a you hit a diet goal and you've hit your your weight goal. You you've crushed uh, crushed that, but it's maybe because you had help. 
and you and you have people keeping you accountable and you have people there along the way and now you can take what you have learned and give it to other people and help them along that doesn't just because you just because you place somewhere doesn't necessarily mean you are like a coach right but you still have some kind of knowledge and if you hone that knowledge more then you become you know more credible more of a coach right just because you step on stage in a, in a bodybuilding competition doesn't mean you're all automatically a a fitness expert or a bodybuilder, right? You up there, maybe you didn't place, maybe you took 11th out of, you know, 15. You still put in some of the work, but you can always improve, right? Even that person who's first, you know, if they're humble, uh, will realize, hey, I couldn't do this without my coaches, I couldn't do this without people keep me accountable, my family, what have you. If they're a big, you know, social media star, maybe that maybe their accountability is is their fans, right? I'm doing this for you guys. Like, you know, hopefully that there's truth to that. When you talk about mental, uh, the like this mental journey, everybody's got their struggles, right? But we can all relate on some plane with other people. You know, oh man, a rock went through my windshield and I had to pay X amount because my deductible was high and it, it set me back a little bit. It's just, ah, oh, it's driving me nuts. Like, how many, go, go to a safe light or, a, or a, some gla, or auto glass repair shop and see how many people have had rocks go through their windshield in a day. People can relate no more than what you think. This is, this is across the spectrum. If you wanted to get into, uh, even if you get to dabble in a little bit of politics, right, you'll find that a lot of people agree on a lot more things than, than they let on. It's the solutions that we generally have issues with, but problems we can address pretty much the same. And a lot of times the solutions are too. Other mental health things, man, I lost a loved one. You know, I have been in an abusive relationship um, or I take it to the next level. I lost a loved one, but here's how I coped with it. I was in a domestic, uh, you know, abusive relationship and here's how I got out of that and am now seeking help and, and now I'm doing much better and recovering. That's the sign of that growth. We've talked about it. But a lot of times on these, these journeys, these things you find yourself in, you get out of these relationships and, and, the, and the air is much clearer and the skies are much brighter, but you can look back because somebody helps you get out of that. Because that's what it takes oftentimes. Some of, these, some of these really, really intricate things, somebody has to physically intervene and get you out. And that's part of this, this journey we're all on together. We may never get to the top of the mountain and that's all right because there's a lot of cool stuff to see on the way up there. You know, a lot of plants, a lot of trails, a lot of wildlife, this kind of thing. And maybe the mountain's way over there. We haven't even gotten to the base of the mountain yet. Maybe we're walking along the beach. Maybe we're walking along the plain. Maybe we're in the forest, whatever your journey is. And it doesn't have to be this mountain analogy. It can be just this timeline of life right just how we go from point a in our life to point b at, the, at our death and then point c is an infinite eternity with the lord jesus christ so that brings us to our kind of third part of this journey is your spiritual journey a lot of times with these other things in our lives we feel like we're walking in the dark but Jesus being the light of the world will always be that light and that lamp to our path if you let him. He's always going to be there with you, whether you, you, you love him or not, because he loves you. But the, you might trip on enough rocks, you might stub enough toes, you may get enough, uh, you might fall down enough to have scrapes on your knees, on your elbows, and have to finally be like, Lord, where are you? I need help. And then that's when you get that spiritual lifting. It's like somebody picking you up by your your collar, dusting you off, giving you that torch, and walking you out of this darkness. And then you start seeing the world clearer and clearer and clearer because the light drives out the darkness. Because in God there is no darkness. He destroys darkness. He is life. 
is the way, the truth, the life. And the whole world opens up to you and there is no more darkness. There are dark places that you can slowly start to snuff out. There are dark memories, there are dark experiences that you've been through that, yes, we still maintain the memory, but it doesn't plague us and pain us like it was because with using that memory, now you know how you got through it. However it was, was there divine intervention? Did your, did your faith carry you through it? Was the supernatural hand of God place somebody in your life, may or may not be a Christian, but put that person in your life to help you get out of said situation, to help you reach that goal, to help you put yourself on that podium, to make yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually stronger. The Lord works in mysterious ways, guys. No matter what you believe, he is always there guiding and directing the events going on all around us. Now, people are worried that, that being said, people are going to say, oh, well, how can he allow these things that are happening in the world to go on, blah, blah, blah. We're also free will beings. Okay. Sure, he can come in and just smite the wick and be done with it all, but that wasn't part of the, part of the deal. Unfortunately, that was not a part of the deal. Uh, we have made decisions throughout humanity. We've made decisions throughout the, the whole course of time. We have uh, been created and elected to be free will beings. If we decide just to want to be robots all the time, that's against the, the creation order. But he will come back. And he will defeat all that evil at the end. Once it comes to, it gets to a point that it is so bad. Don't lose faith. Don't lose heart. He'll help us get to the top of the mountain. And when he gets there and gets us all up in his arms. And we're finally in paradise and there's no more evil. You'll be like, man. This is what it's all about. Because you're going to look around and see all the shining bright faces of your loved ones and the other believers it's going to be beautiful but what would be the point of that if you were up there all by yourself so that is your charge as a christian that is your charge is to bring as many people to the fold as possible when jesus first departed and said i'm coming back you know Look to me. Look for me in the in the future. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. hold us. The, all the disciples and the apostles and and all the people who were there at Pentecost and all the people who were, you know, there at Ground Zero when all these events were happening, literally said, uh, "Can you not come back like tomorrow or like next year? Because we've got just you know this small group. This is our our kingdom, and we want everybody to be filled with what we're filled with the Holy Spirit. We want everybody to be." you know, reign in, in heaven with you forever. So we, we, we need we need time to do that. That was the charge. He said, all right, make it happen. So that's when they went out and started telling the good news. That is our job is to get as many people to the top of the mountain as possible in all aspects of life, not just obviously the ultimate end goal is eternity with Jesus in heaven. But while we're on this plane, you want to help people out as much as you can with whatever knowledge you can and seek whatever knowledge you can for people who have been there before you. If you're struggling in this aspect of your life, somebody else has been to at some point. They know how to get you out of it, guaranteed. If you have that skill and can help somebody elevate themselves, help them as best as you can because that is how we change the world. That's how we get through all this, guys. It's a journey. It is a marathon. It's not a sprint. We've got a lifetime to get this stuff done. And after that, we've got eternity. But while we're in this flesh shoot, while, are we, while we're on this spinning rock, we've got to do the best we can to be the best we can because you might be the only Bible that people see ever in their life. So if you're a self-professed Christian and you're not living that life godliness living a life that's an example to other people you need to check yourself because you can lead some people down the wrong path 
and a quickness. Because a lot of people have never even picked the thing up. So you have to embody the Bible and what it means to be a Christian. Every single day. Put on your armor. Maintain your armor. Let's get on this journey. Let's go out there and be the best that we can possibly be. Good to go? That's all I got. That's all I got this week, ladies and gents. Short, down, dirty, to the point. It's a journey. It is a journey. This podcast has been a journey. I'd say I wasn't going to preach about that too much, but it, it really has been. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I appreciate the content. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate you guys sharing it uh, very, very much. If you uh, do enjoy this content, guys, please, please share it. Uh, that would mean the world to me. If you share it on a platform and tag me or tag Three Pillars Podcast on, on Facebook, that would be awesome. If you're on other platforms, you know, regab, repost, retruth, whatever you're on, uh, that would be splendid. Uh, if you're just listening to it on your podcast platforms, please you know, share it to your story, share it to your wall if you feel like this is something that's beneficial to you. So, again, not... I'm not going to beg about it, but I, that's how these things grow. I'm, I'm not naive to that. Um, and it starts with our little, you know, Three Pillars podcast family. We spread it out to the world, right? So that's my little sales pitch. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, we're going to end with a quick word of prayer and kick you guys out for the weekend. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the many blessings that you give us every single day, Lord. Lord, thank you for giving us this journey, giving us our struggles, teaching us these lessons. Thank you for helping us overcome these challenges by putting righteous people in our lives to help us ascend to that next level. And Lord, thank you for giving us the humility, the example of humility, that when it's time to impart that knowledge onto somebody else, we do it freely. We do it without question because we want as many people on that mountaintop with us, Lord. Lord, thank you for loving us. Thank you for, for, for protecting and providing for us. And again, giving us that example, that shining example of what it means to be all we can be for you. Lord, I ask that you bless anybody tuning in tonight. Guide them and direct them all the days of their life. Keep them strong. Keep them faithful to you, Lord. And I ask you to do the same for, my, uh, for me and my family. Lord, we love you. And we thank you for all your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. That's it for this week. Appreciate each and every single one of you. I love you guys. God bless you. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comments. And we'll talk to you soon. Tobinator out.